Hey everyone, it's Tara here. So, I want to um, show you what osteodystrophy is in camels. And this isn't an easy video to do. Because um, these three camels have it. And today is the last day that we'll see them. Don't mind me. <laughs> But the main point is about this disease is that I want to show you what it does to the camel because, you know, it's, it's yes, I'm upset, but I'm sort of glad they're going to be put out of their misery because um, they're going to die anyway. Um, so let's get, so I'll, I'll try and be as precise as possible, but it's a little bit hard without a clear head. But um, this is a little Shiloh here. And you can see um, on his face, see those big lumps on either side. He's might, probably not going to stand still because he's a very cuddly camel. Um, so he's can I have your head, buddy, just so everybody can see. Um, you can see the lump here. So um, what osteodystrophy does is it's it's a um, it's the calcium deficiency. Um, in camels and um, it basically um, yeah it's it's a high phosphorus um, I'll have to write a proper blog post about it but I wanted to show you the video but like I said my head's not very clear at the moment but um, for, there's there's a couple of symptoms that can occur this sort of arthritic symptoms can be osteodystrophy not all like that's you know like it could be arthritis or it could be osteodystrophy um, kind of like really lethargic and really um, um, sort of like a little bit dopey in a sense like not they can't be bothered moving sort of thing um, which camels are pretty cruisy so that one's a really hard one to pick Charlotte keeps following me um, but you can see on this angle see the the um, the bumps and they're, they're on either side of his head as well so um what's that what that's gonna do now i don't know the scientific on how it really works um so forgive me for that you can see there so these are just like hard cellulose growth like they're not even squishy they're hard as a rock and what that's going to do eventually is um well what it's growing into his nasal na nasal cavity and we've had a camel his mum actually we had her and um we got her from from another place like all of these camels um they've all come to us from different sources um and he can you give me a head um it's he's going to suffocate himself basically with those growths so that's why we've made the decision today well not today we made the decision a little while ago to to put them out of their misery and you know here he is he's a very sweet camel he's, he's actually our baby he was born to us so it's a heartbreaking decision to have to make but you know this is what it's like when you're a parent to furry ones or um, human ones so um, the other thing that I've noticed with osteodystrophy is that they get stunted by their growth like uh, their growth is stunted so this little guy here he's actually four years old and he really isn't that like he's not as big as our other four-year-olds um, and we noticed that when we first got him how tiny he was for his age but we thought that could have been because he was bottle red or which he was by somebody else um, so we gave him the benefit of the doubt but then you can see with his face too he's um, he's got the gross on the side of his face either side not as bad as Shiloh Shiloh's the worst who was over there um but morgan's growing them and we just know how it's going to end once it gets to that nasal growth it's really hard to stop it we tried supplementing really high doses of calcium and vitamin d to help absorb that um and it just uh, and then you know a lot of googling about you know the disease as well and um listening to some some other vets and once it seems to be once they get these nasal growths it's really doesn't seem reversible it hasn't been proven that it's reversible um and we can see these guys suffering and that their their nasal growth are only getting bigger and bigger this is red as you can see he's super skinny like i might have to pop a photo in on what he looked like before 
um, before, no, when we had first got him, he was, he was pretty amazing looking camel and he was actually a red camel. So his coat has gone, lost all its color. Um, he's very skinny. He's got no hump. Um, well, very little hump. And we, for, for two years, we've been trying to put weight on him and it just, it's been near impossible and he's had been through di spouts of diarrhea and parasitic control and it's been really hard but you can see on the side of his face too that's where he's growing his his growth so um goodbye buddy um yeah so it's not it's not um good for them obviously like red here he actually struggles to get up and down like he looks really arthritic and he's only like a four-year-old camel five-year-old i think so he's five that one over there is Morgan, he's three, and Shiloh's, no, Morgan over there is probably four or five too, actually, and Shiloh's three. Um, so, yeah, it's been really hard to even put weight on Shiloh. Like, you know, he, he was on his mum for a while, and his hump just won't grow, and it's been really heartbreaking, actually. You know, trying to do the right thing by them, but um, it's just not going to, I just like the other thing with the, the nasal growth is um, some of my research that I've been doing is they ended up, they see he's not, he's actually, that's how his mouth is all the time. He can't close his mouth or he wouldn't be able to breathe. So he's actually breathing through his mouth, not so much through his nose, just a tiny bit, if anything. So what can happen from that is they get, they can get gum disease and their teeth end up falling out. It's just freaking one thing after another. And I just didn't want to see them suffer anymore. We didn't want to see them suffer anymore. So we made that hard decision to let them go. <laughs> and they know. They so know. They so know what's about to happen. We've had very many special moments with us. And we've had a couple of weeks with them before, you know, as after we'd made the decision. So that's osteodystrophy. I'll link below a, a blog post on it because it's really important. Like I'm not very scientifically clear about it at the moment. I do have some good feedback from vets that I'd like to share with you. But yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I mean, we, we do have, we do know of somebody who thinks she's reversed it, but her camel didn't get the nasal growth in the nose. So she, maybe she, I don't, I don't know what the difference is between um, the nasal, like, the, you know, how osteodystrophy, which is also known as big head, comes out in camels. <sighs> so, yeah, that's our camels. And um, like I said, I'll link below a blog post so you can read a little bit more about it. And I just wanted to give you a visual because I wish I had this visual um, beforehand. Um, yeah.